Good morning. Welcome. We thought it would be nice during this Easter season to have time each morning with one another for some devotional uh, time with scripture, song, and prayer. And this Easter season, I'm looking forward to uh, talking with several of the leaders across the South Carolina Synod. This morning, I'm pleased to welcome Deacon Kathleen Cartledge. Hi, Kathleen. Good to see you this morning. Good morning. It's good to be seen. Excellent. Kathleen is serving at St. Paul Lutheran Church in Aiken. And um, why don't you tell us just briefly, uh, how long have you been there? Well, this August, I will have been at St. Paul 24 years. Uh, I've been Excellent. serving here 10 years as a rostered minister. Excellent. Well, we're glad to have you as a rostered minister of the South Carolina Synod, and I'm delighted to have you here today. I asked, uh, asked you to share with me uh, your favorite hymn or one of your favorite hymns. Uh, I know it's hard to pick an exact favorite, but uh, one of your favorite hymns and tell us a little bit about it, why it's your favorite, um, what you know about it, uh, what, what we should know about it. Okay, I selected one of uh, probably, I have about a dozen favorite hymns and songs of faith. And I selected Christ is Risen, Hallelujah. Um, it's often seen as a nice fanfare big Easter hymn, which it certainly is. But over the years, not just serving here, but the other churches I've served as a director of music, um, there have been times when someone suddenly dies and um, people are always looking for hope. And this hymn, while the uh, melody and the, the music are, are full of that hope and the triumph of Christ rising from the grave, the text has some things that really speak to the heart. Um, the imagery the writer uses, talking about the doubting and dejection of our trembling hearts and how it ceased because Christ rose from the grave. And so when there are sudden deaths or painful times, I found in, in multiple congregations and here at St. Paul that this hymn brings a lot of comfort to our grief. It also helps us or helped me pull away when there is so much grief or pain and look and remember that not only is there hope, but that Christ is there and will be there when we all rise in new life in Christ. And so when there is a lot of pain or a lot of suffering and when there is unexpected pain in particular, this hymn speaks to my heart and I've seen it speak to the hearts of a lot of people, um, reminding them that dejected hearts that's something we live with uh fear is something we live with but in christ that can be turned into uh, the beauty and the hope and the comfort of new life not just for one of us but for all of us i love that Thanks for sharing that, um, Kathleen. That's one of my favorite Easter hymns. And in fact, I get a little bit disappointed when we don't sing that for Easter, for, uh, exactly for the reason that you're sharing, that it's such a hymn of hope and joy, but also because I just think the music is phenomenal and very, very celebratory of that new life that we can expect in Christ Jesus. Thanks for yes. sharing that with us. What a great, what a great hymn, what a great uh explanation about why it's so meaningful, not just at Easter time, but all the Easter of our life, the, the hope of resurrection. I appreciate that so much. And I appreciate you being with us today. Let's hear a word of scripture from Psalm 4. When I call, give me answers, God. Take my side. Once in a tight place, you gave me room. Now I'm in trouble again. Grace me, hear me. You rabble, how long do I put up with your scorn? How long will you lust after lies? How long will you live crazed by illusion? Look at this, look who got picked by God. He listens the split second I call to him. Complain if you must. But don't lash out. Keep your mouth shut and let your heart do the talking. Build your case before God and wait for his verdict. Why is everyone hungry for more? More, more, they say. More, more. I have God's 
more than enough, more joy in one ordinary day than they get in all their shopping sprees. At day's end, I'm ready for sound sleep. For you, God, have put my life back together. The word of the Lord. Let us pray. Holy and righteous God, you are the author of life, and you adopt us to be your children. Fill us with your words of life, that we may live as witnesses to the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. It's good to be with you today. God bless your day and keep you always. Deacon Kathleen, always good to see you. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Thank you for having me here.